this is Gali Gopar. How are you doing today? Welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling financially sound because today our quote of the day is all about creating wealth for you. And the quote of the day goes like this, Wealth is the ability to experience life fully by Henry David Thoreau. I found this quote to be very true for me. Here is my story about how I made money to last me and my children a lifetime without need to work any longer. Now, I think this is very important to talk about because um, part of wellness is definitely uh, having secure and enough finances to help you live your life to the fullest. Without it, you just simply can't reach and be the best version of yourself. So many of my clients who have come to my house have always asked me how I started and uh, how, how is it that I have such a nice front line to the beach house where there are only very few such houses available here in Israel. Um, they knew I was divorced so they thought that perhaps I received money from my ex-husband. But I am usually very quiet about my lifestyle and nobody really knows how I live. But when this woman started to ask me questions and received the answers that she did not expect, she encouraged me to tell others about how I did this. She said that it could be very empowering information that needed to be passed over to people, especially women, to show them how they could live a life that is free. So being a doctor in nutrition, my work for years has revolved around people helping people lose weight or heal from disease through nutrition. But to be perfectly honest, this line of work has never really provided me with a large income. Uh, it has provided me with an income, a regular income, but not a huge large income. And I felt it to always to be my calling and this is why I put a lot of effort into my videos and my articles and my lectures and my books on the field of health. However, health is not the only field that I've gathered a lot of experience and knowledge on since I walk also a very spiritual path. I asked for guidance about what I should write about or what I should talk about in my lectures and videos. And today, to my surprise, I was called to write about earning money. Now, to be honest, health and wellness, as I said, are very much connected also to financial well-being. Without financial well-being, it is hard not to be stressed, and stress, of course, affects our health state. So although this video is about financial well-being, it is also definitely about health and personal development. In fact, building wealth is an intricate part of personal development. And if you do not live abundantly, you can never fulfill your full potential since wealth allows you to buy the things you need that will help you to live a fulfilled life. And also, wealth can provide you with more time as you will have people to help you with the things that take up your time but are not very valuable. And also, wealth allows you to influence more and more people. The very first video I ever published on YouTube was about uh, what I called the five keys to happiness. I made this video years ago, and I state there that in order to be happy, we need to have peace of mind, which is mental freedom from anger, guilt, and fear. We also need to have financial independence, a close relationship, physical health, uh, goals, and a purpose in life to be of service to others. It seems quite simple, but many people seem to think that the financial part is not in our hands, and this is very wrong. When I learned that the power of the mind, uh, when I learned of the power of the mind over matter, and I learned how to master my thoughts so that they would be helpful for me and would help me achieve my dreams, and I learned to take the right actions and, and I took them, then everything in my life became abundant and everything changed for me. So yes, our mindset is the basis to our success in the financial sphere, just as it is also for health, well-being, relationships, and really everything. But the actions you take are also crucial as well. You do need to become a different person in order to allow riches into your life. And this means that you will need to put in the effort towards changing yourself to have an abundant mentality. I will make another video on how I learned to use the law of attraction and mind over matter to change my whole life in a different video. But in this video, I will focus on the action steps that I took towards becoming financially independent and later to become financially free through creating passive income streams. And I'm especially going to be talking about uh, real estate. 
Now, I'm not saying that you need to be very rich. I am personally a minimalist and live my life very simply and very happily. I do not need much to be happy. Just a walk in nature, nice conversations with nice people, and to have my family around me. I personally do not like shopping, and wear are very, very basic, 100% cotton clothing. And usually, since the weather permits here, I wear flip-flops everywhere. I eat a very simple vegan diet and run daily for my physical activities. So I'm not saying that you need a lot of money to be happy. No, but you do need enough to get out of debt and every month and also not to be worse off every year that goes by. You also need much to support you on the path towards becoming the ideal version of yourself. You will need money for education, to surround yourself with beautiful things, since your environment and your ecosystem have a major influence on you, as I spoke of in previous videos. And you also want to live a life that is not full of physical toil day in and day out. So what I will tell you now is how I built wealth to provide me with a constant passive income that allows me not to ever work again if this is what I please to do. But I actually like working. This is why I create these videos and I accept people in my clinic and I, I just love working and meeting people. But it is an option for me. If I never want to work another day in my life, I can. So the first step I took was change my spending habits. Now I know there are people out there that are teaching that you don't need to save money. You need more sources of income. This is both true and not true. You do need to save money so that you have the money to purchase investments and also to help you learn to work within a budget. When I divorced, divorced my first husband, I was in such a rush to get out of the relationship that I made a really bad deal on my divorce settlement and I was left to learn how to survive on my own in the real world with, with practically no money. From here came a period of immense difficulty and poverty, but in the end, I would never have reached where I am today if I had not gone through this period of poverty, uh, of not having anything, uh, really not having enough money to even put food on the table for my children and I after paying all of the expenses. So what did I do? Well, my lawyer warned me that I needed to be financially sound or else the social workers would take my daughters away from me. Now, my daughters, that, these are my eldest daughters, they have special needs, and, I, and I, I was completely shocked to hear this. My lawyer explained to me that, it would need, that I would need a lot of money to take care of their special needs, and if I wouldn't find a way to make a decent amount of money, my daughters would be taken away to me, from me and be put in a, in a home, in an assisted living facility. Now, to hear his words, this was very painful for me. It shocked my whole system. Since they were very young at the time, they were really, really young. They were two years old. My, my youngest was two and my eldest was three. So I certainly did not want to put them anywhere that was not to leave them with me in the house. So I really felt helpless since I had no one to turn to for help. But I was adamant not to allow this to happen. And I, I was also at, very busy at the time. I was studying in medical school and raising my daughters part-time with my ex-husband. So I made it my mission to earn a lot of money so that I would have no threat to my family life ever again. Now, since I was doing triathlons at the time as my sport, I decided to sell energy gels to athletes. And this was uh, part of a multi-level marketing company. I was very excited to begin and I sold to everyone who was training with me and to everyone also before races. We would go to a race and I would be there a few hours before selling these gels to everybody. But I never actually tried them. And then I decided to try them. And personally, when I did, my whole body came out in a rash everywhere of my body. And it took me a few uh, a few days to understand where it came from. But um, then I, I understood that it came from these gels and I knew that I could never sell such harmful products to other people. So I stopped. But this company invited, this company came to Israel at the time where I was living and it invited all of its salespeople to a free seminar that they held not far from my house. And since I brought my friends to join into this business, I decided to go with my friends for the fun. And since I was never going to sell these products again, I just decided to, to enjoy the, the seminar. Now, during the seminar, 
a young man came on stage and he talked about a book that had changed his life completely. And it allowed him to become a gold level marketer of these products. And he introduced the book to everyone and it was Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Now this book sparked my interest. Immediately I went to buy the book that they were selling there at the seminar in one of the booths and I read it. And after reading it in one sitting, I decided to leave multi-level marketing and to get into real estate. Now I needed some money to start off. I wanted to get in it as soon as possible. I had been working during my university studies for many years as an EMT, an emergency medical technician on the ambulance service. And apart from all that I saw, that my eyes saw, and that I learned while working in this very physically and emotionally draining job, I also had made some pension money and some savings accounts that they opened for me. Immediately, I took all of this money from my savings accounts and put them together with the money from my pension and found that I had the 15% down payment I needed to buy a house not far from where I was living. Now, this was very scary to say the least. I was using up all of the money that I ever had and also getting into debt. But Robert Kiyosaki explained in his book that this was actually good debt. So I actually went and did it. I bought the house and my father and I started to renovate the house ourselves. We both love to do DIY work. Now together we made the house look stunning. But what is important to mention is that here in Israel, land is very expensive. And even if you buy a home with a mortgage, when you rent it out, you will not get enough to pay the loan unless you have put down a 50% down payment. Now, this is not something that I had and it was not something that I could do. So there is no profit in doing something like this until I came across a different way to do things. And this is how I built my fortune in real estate. So how did I do it? Well, apart from maintaining a mindset of abundance and focusing exactly on what I wanted to do day in and day out, which in itself was quite a difficult effort, especially since I was previously living with a totally mindset of poverty, I was previously holding the ridiculous belief that people uh, who do good should not ask for money. <laughs> I will make a video on sustaining abundance on, on, on sustaining the abundance mind that, mindset soon. So apart from changing my mindset completely, I also took focused action. Now I want to tell you what the action was. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of it, but I never actually paid the full mortgage. Every month I was, instead of paying the full mortgage, I actually asked for a balloon loan from the bank where you only pay the interest without paying for the house itself. Now, it was pure luck that helped me stumble upon this kind of loan, which I did not know existed. I never heard of it before. And it was mentioned to me by one of the uh, uh, bankers there. It was not mentioned in any of the real estate books that I had read after reading Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I learned about this loan by complete chance. And this is the type of loan that helped me build my fortune. This loan is very cheap, but you are not really paying off the house at all. All you do is pay off the interest on the loan, which is very cheap since you do not need to pay for the house itself. I had to take in a three-year full balloon loan and bought the house. Now, at the time, I had joint custody of my daughters, and I was living at my grandparents' house, who did not live in Israel. So I did not need to move away from, my, uh, from where I was living into my newly purchased house, so I rented it out. And if you live with your parents, this is also something that you can do. Suddenly, I had a new income stream that came in every single month. I was not paying for the house itself, but since I bought the house uh, in a yet undiscovered uh, uh, developing location, the worth of the house increased rapidly. And basically, in a short time, it was what it was worth more than I had owed the bank for it. Now, the man who moved in, uh, rented the house, uh, made it look really nice and cozy. But after eight months, he notified me that he was moving out because he had also bought a house in the same area. I was not really discouraged because I still had plenty of time on my side before the balloon loan would be over. The monthly payments for the balloon loan were very cheap for me to handle just from my job. Now, since I allowed the man to leave before his contract was actually over, before he left during the two month notice period, 
he gladly showed it to everyone who came and he also made it look really nice and tidy tidy and then one day a couple came and saw the house and they actually said that they preferred to purchase it instead of to rent it out and if this was an option that then they would pay me pretty fast since they had just sold their own house so I agreed to sell and asked for a price of $120,000 more than what I had paid for it, considering after the taxes. So they did not hesitate for a minute and bought the house. Of course, when you buy a property, you want to make the best deal available. And to do this, you have to know uh, the location where you are buying inside and out. It is actually best if you live there and you really know the property market well in your area. You must know how much renters are willing to pay for properties in this area, and you must know how much homes are being sold in the area now and also in the past. You should aim to buy a house that you know will be worth more than you are buying it already from day one, or at least right after you do a small renovation. Now, these deals are usually found with people who need to sell their home quickly for different reasons. If you have your mortgage settled with the bank, beforehand then you can also move fast and this is what gave me and also will give you the advantage from all other potential buyers you just make a decision you do it fast and you, you have the money already uh, organized through the bank so it will take about a month or two until you buy the house and then you can also offer to buy it even at a lower price if they will accept. So speed is so critical to purchasing good deals in real estate. And this is what gave me the advantage I needed. Now, after the couple agreed on my price, they bought it immediately. Then I took the money that I got from the house. After paying back the balloon loan, I used it as a down payment to buy two houses. Both houses were bought with the same system, a balloon loan for each house. The only downside of the system is that you must sell the property at a profit within three years or within the time frame of your balloon loan. To do this, you must take a balloon loan for no less than three years and you must buy a property in a developing area for this to work for you. It may sound overwhelming, but it really is quite simple to do. If you think about it, the population is growing and growing, so more people are going to be needing houses, and many new neighborhoods are coming up and developing. So buying a house in such a neighborhood, maybe a neighborhood that used to be considered not so good, suddenly is getting closer to the city or closer to to uh, places of work, then you know that this place is developing and the prices will go up there. I also found that the best way to ensure the next sale is to get great renters into your house who will personally invest their own money into making your property even more beautiful. You will be living well from the rent from each apartment, but when you start this whole process, you will need to sell all of your properties and make a profit on each until the profit from the sale of some of your properties will be able to cover the entire mortgage on others. This is how you go about it. It is also important to take a good lawyer to prepare your first rental lease for your first home and make sure that you put into the lease contract that uh, if you should decide to sell the property, then you can do so and that the renter will allow you to show the property to potential buyers at least once a week. I am actually still using the first lease contract that my lawyer prepared for me for my first house, which I bought about 14 years ago. I just made uh, small relevant changes for each property as was needed in the contract. Now, once you have very clean renters in your property, it becomes so easy to sell when the time comes and when someone is living there telling good things about the property and about the owner, then the sale is actually done for you. There is no selling involved. When you start having many properties, you can also take more risks. With time, I started to buy ruined or abandoned apartments and houses in good locations. And these are properties that other people could not see their potential because they were so neglected. And at times, really, they looked totally disgusting. But the most important thing to look out for uh, is not actually the state of the house. This is really not important because it can always be renovated. It's the location of the house. I know you will have heard this before, but location really is key. Many people are afraid of taking on big projects, but when you take on these so-called big projects, you become better and better at them. The first house that I renovated from scratch took me almost a year to do. It could, it could have even taken me more, 
uh, for, for other people, it would have also taken more, more time, but I learned very fast. And the second house that I renovated from scratch took me seven months. And the last house that I did lately, which was bigger than all of the rest, took me three and a half months. Because there is an order that you must learn to follow through with in order for the house to become uh, finished as quickly as possible. You cannot miss any steps, which always happens in the beginning. And then you understand that you have to go back and fix the mistakes that you made. But once you learn the right order of renovating, then everything is ready at the right time. There are parts that you will need to order as early as possible because it takes time to prepare them, like stairs, doors, windows, and metal fixtures. So, where the, when, uh, so whenever these are planned to be fixed, in the place that they are planned to be fixed, you, like the holes of the walls for the windows and the places for the door, these must be ready first thing. This, this is the first part of the reno any, any renovation period so that the the companies that are building these doors or windows or stairs for you will be able to take measurements and can start creating them for you. And this is not often what people do and they lose lots of very important time. The point is always to have your property ready as fast as possible, but to make no shortcuts on the way so that you can get your first renter inside. The clock is always ticking, but the prices of property should also be going up during this renovation period. So you don't need to really worry about this very much. For every property you own and hold on to, you can also recycle your mortgage on it. When prices increase, you get more money from the bank for your next property if you recycle the mortgage, if you keep the house. I was busy with real estate for years until I got cancer, and this was a wake-up call for me to get my life back to my true purpose, which I recognized thanks to my disease. I would not have gotten back to nutrition had I not had cancer, which eventually I healed myself thanks to my research into the ideal diet for humans. But I believe there was a guiding force from above saying, you have enough money now to take care of you and your children for the rest of your life, so now it's time to get back on track. This is what I truly believe. I had studied nutrition since I was 16 when I started to gain weight. I left medical school because after knowing so much about nutrition from my first degree, I knew that proper nutrition was real medicine. In my eyes, lifestyle is the real field of medicine that can not only prevent disease, but can also heal it. And since when the body gets all it needs and the mindset is set for healing, then the body will have all it needs and will have and can use its capabilities to heal itself. So what I did at this stage was sell off half of my properties that I would be able to leave the real estate rat race and reduce my stress levels and focus on healing myself. So I, I had many apartments at the time and I sold half of them. I paid off all of my mortgages except for about $170,000, which I paid off from my uh, regular savings from my real estate a few years later. When I sold the property, I could have never, ever imagined that I actually reached complete financial independence within eight years. I was not aware that I had enough income from my properties to live off and have all that I desired in life. But this is what happened. I put in the effort for a few years, and after that, I could live off this fortune that I made for the rest of my life without working again. Now, it is important to state that once I paid off my mortgages, but was left with a small loan, I saved every month to pay it off. I did not live extravagantly. I paid off all of my mortgages in 2018, and at the time I was getting a divorce, and we had made a prenuptial agreement, which I definitely recommend anyone doing. Then you are free to stay in the relationship if you please to, or leave it without bringing financial matters into the equation, and this is real freedom. So after my divorce, I decided to stay in Caesarea and buy me a home here. I was renting beforehand because my husband was never sure if he wanted to stay in the area. We moved to Caesarea in the first place because I had decided to move my daughters to a really nice assisted living facility for adults with mental disabilities. They were old now, and now they are 24 and 21 years old. So it was like five years ago, they went into this place. And after searching for all of Israel for a really good place, I found this assisted, assisted living village and they were happy there from day one. 
So we moved about five minutes away from them to Caesarea, a small beachside town while leaving the big city of Tel Aviv where all of my real estate business took place. Now after a few years, my husband was really unhappy and really wanted to move back to the city so we got a divorce and after our divorce he moved back to Tel Aviv and I decided to stay near my elder daughters. So I searched for a good property and I looked at the best streets in Caesarea and knocked on house doors to see if the neighbors knew anyone who was selling. And I found this abandoned house that had been abandoned for over 10 years, but it was first line to the beach. It looked really very scary. And this is why I think many people were discouraged from buying it. I was not. I immediately made an offer and which was accepted and I bought the house and renovated it and it became my dream house. <laughs> I have a um, everything that I ever desired in this house. I have a food forest, I have an edible garden and I have a wonderful living space. I took a 100% loan on the house and I have 25 years to pay for it. The financial freedom gives you uh, something that we all should aim for and the sooner you begin to get into financial freedom for you, the better off you will be. You can, and in fact, you must do whatever you can to start producing the abundance that you deserve and desire. So start today. Know your market inside out if you're interested in going into real estate and look for cheap properties from people who really must sell. Talk to all estate agents in your area and sign a good deal with them so that they will be encouraged to show you the best deals available. And later they will help you also sell your property over other people's properties when a bond of trust is formed between you. Get an agreement for a mortgage from your bank. Explain that you are interested in a balloon loan. If your bank offers balloon loans for more than three years, then even better, take the longest term available. Buy the house with a balloon loan in the best location where you think the prices will increase within the next few years and aim to buy small apartments, preferably with no garden, at least in the beginning, so that your investment on renovation is as little as possible and also on the daily care that you will need to give the property. Paint it up, fix up the basics, buy nice things at uh, cheaper shops like Ikea to make the house look more attractive and rent the house to the best person or people that you can find. After the loan is coming to its deadline, about seven to eight months beforehand, place the house on the market for sale and find ways to encourage your renter to help you make the sale. Perhaps they will want to move in with, uh, stay with you and move into your next house that you buy. This is what has happened to me a few times as well. After the first house, buy more and more houses until you are financially free. During this period, live within your means and aim to save most of your new income that you get from each property. Later, use this money that you have saved to purchase, to purchase more investments. And this will make the path to financial freedom quite short. And within five to 10 years, you will have enough income to support you and your children for the rest of their lives. It is well worth it. Really, good luck. I, I, I do believe that anyone can do it. There is no reason why you should not succeed. All you have to do is take the right steps, which I have outlined in this video for you here. So go for it and be sure to let me know how it goes. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a few questions that you want to ask yourself to make sure that, the, that your answers are moving you in the right direction for you. And the questions of the day are, in what appealing way can I generate a passive income for my future? And is real estate something that is interesting for me? I want you to know that there are many ways that you can create a passive income for yourself. Real estate is just one way. There are many ways online to achieve this feat. I recommend reading the book Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, which offers many ways to build a passive income. And also I recommend watching other YouTube videos on passive income generation. There are many good ideas out there for this day and age. And you can certainly find one that is best suited for you if you're not interested in real estate. But if you are, trust me, you can make a lot of money and be very, very happy and wealthy by doing real estate in the right way. You can succeed if you do things right and persistently. So as usual, I recommend writing these questions in a notebook that you have especially prepared for these coaching sessions to help make sure that you are moving yourself in the right direction for you and your future. So to finish this video off with, the affirmation of the day is, I push myself to do better and improve. I am taking the right steps to my financial freedom.
I push myself to do better and improve, and I am taking the right steps to reach financial freedom. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so because with an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life with repetition. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And also please visit my website, thegorilladiet.com for anything to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.